Hello everyone, myself Fuad Hav. In today's session, we are seeing the Dow Jones Industrial Average consolidating just below the 34,000 mark. And uh, that uh, with that, the question comes to mind is uh, whether this is the time to look for shorting opportunities in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. If you consider the price action for last couple of days, we have seen that on the higher side, it has found resistance closer to the 34,200 level. And from there on, it has gone on to decline more than one percentage point on two occasions. In today's session, we are seeing some buying on the lower side. And uh, for the time being, it has uh, come back in the positive territory. And uh, it is trading with uh, the gains of more than half a percentage point. But uh, still, looking at larger picture, I feel that unless and until we have a fresh breakout on the higher side above the prior swing highs, the opportunity is uh, going to be there for us to keep looking for the short trades in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And for that, the levels closer to 34,000 are going to be key. So in today's session of market movers, we will just see if there are any fresh opportunities in today's session and uh, today being the Friday, I think uh, we will have to keep our uh, expectations rather limited and uh, if we get the optimum level, well and good. Otherwise, I think it will be better to wait it out over the weekend and by the time we come back for trading on Monday, we will uh, of course have a lot more clarity and uh, for this session, we will see what are the levels to watch out for. If you consider the data docket for the day, we had uh, plenty of data releases uh, earlier in the day during the European trading hour. Starting from the UK's retail sales numbers, we got the PMI releases for France, Germany and the Euro area as a whole. Even for the UK, we got the PMI data and uh, these uh, major economies in the Euro area and also the UK are showing the signs of uh, gradually the economic activity picking up. The manufacturing PMI has been uh, in expansion phase for many months now and of late for this month in particular for the April, we are seeing that the services sector is also showing the signs of expansion and it is above 50 though not much barely above 50 for uh, major economies in the euro area but still that is uh, a marker that uh, more and more people are willing to go out and uh, involve themselves in uh, economic uh, activities and uh, as a result of that the services sector is also picking up though the job addition there remains remains limited and uh, price pressures are uh, still muted and uh, we are uh, far off from the kind of PMI which we are seeing for the manufacturing sector where the PMI readings are closer to the decade highs and also some of that is because of the low base effect but notwithstanding that the <coughs> growth is uh, substantial in the manufacturing side. Moving on to the US data rocket here also we got the market PMI number for the US and uh, the manufacturing as well as services sector in US is uh, doing fantastic job and uh, if you consider the composite numbers taking together manufacturing as well as services PMI, we have the composite growth of uh, 62.2, which is uh, phenomenal to say the least. And also equally impressive numbers we got on the new home sales front. And this is the highest reading since uh, 2006. So the US uh, housing market is red hot and it has uh, shown the growth of uh, almost 20% in the month of March where the unit sales for the single family have jumped to more than 1 million compared to the prior reading of around 0.85 million. Now let's uh, shift our attention to the technical segment where we will first consider the trading opportunities emerging in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and after that we will also consider the currency space where the instrument of choice for today is uh, USD JPY. Let's start with the Dow Jones Industrial Average Technical Outlook. This is the daily time frame chart and here the thing I talked about that uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is finding resistance on the higher side and uh, for larger part of this week 
it has uh, consolidated in a narrow range with the uh, underlying bias remaining on the bearish side so on last uh, two three occasions it uh, uh, went up till this uh, prior swing high zone and then again it uh, nose dive toward uh, 33,800 level and on the lower side it has indeed found some buying and uh, today's session is no exception so you can say that uh, this range is uh, holding the key for any trades if you want to go for in the Dow Jones industrial average so for that we will have to mostly rely on the lower time frame charting where we have seen this consolidation phase happening closer to the first resistance of this month's pivot point series here you can see that uh, the dough has moved on both sides of these resistance and um, we don't really have any uh, clear breakout of course uh, for uh, two sessions i think uh, we have seen the dojo's industrial average crossing and holding above it but uh, on the very next day it has a uh, nose dive on the lower side and it has been unable to cross this uh, high established on last friday just above 34200 level so i think uh, from price action front we do have the resistance in place so taken together along with these uh, pivot point series and uh, the price action resistance i think uh, the level for uh, looking for short is uh, just little below the 34200 level and uh, on the lower side the immediate target can be kept closer to this uh, immediate uh, swing low if you consider the regression curve now the price action has moved to the lower band and as a result of that i am expecting the regression curve to flatten in coming days as uh, i am not really expecting any particularly strong breakout on the higher side of course we can't rule out 100 percent but uh, still the probability is quite uh, quite strong that we are likely to see a breakout on the lower side rather than on the higher side so for that we can uh, continue to rely on this uh, price formation and uh, the stop loss can be kept just little above this uh, immediate swing high i think the stop loss anywhere in the price band of 34200 to 34250 should be good enough and depending on where you are going for the entry anywhere in this uh, confluence area of this 50 100 and 200 sma which is there around the 34000 level the risk is not going to be that high around uh, 200 250 points depending on where is your exact entry point and uh, for that we will have to wait uh, a bit in today's session i think for next couple of hours at least we will have to see how the price action plays out earlier in the day we did uh, saw this did see this uh, break on the lower side after consolidation but now on uh, the chart as you can see we have this uh, fresh momentum which has uh, seen the go picking up the pace after getting closer to the immediate swing low so because of that we will have to wait till this uh, momentum subsides and uh, it should consolidate first then only the opportunity for a fresh short will arise provided we don't really see any breakout on the higher side before the dough comes to consolidation phase and if we see this momentum taking uh, the dough all the way above these uh, prior uh, swing high then of course we will have to change our mind and uh, simply sit on the sidelines till better opportunities emerge now moving on to the currency space where the instrument of choice as i said is usd jpy let's start with the daily time frame chart i think uh, in yesterday's session only i had talked about the possibility of usd jpy finding support closer to this 108 level and rebounding but that didn't really materialize it uh, did find the support and it was consolidating just uh, closer to this 108 level but then in the late hours of european session we had this uh, break on the lower side which took the usd jpy all the way toward this 107.5 but uh, from there on the reversal has been equally sharp 
and uh, it has rebounded to trade above 108 level so looking at these uh, price pattern i think uh, moving forward we do have the possibility of uh, this being the bottom in near term for the usd jpy and uh, looking at that we will see if uh, there are going to be any emerging trading opportunities for us we have this first support of this month's pivot point series around these uh, 107.7 level and this is the price level i had talked about in yesterday's session also while pointing out that for last couple of sessions it has indeed provided solid support on the lower side but uh, this uh, was not the case in today's session we had these uh, top sitter we moves sharp move on the lower side and then equally sharp move all the way back so because of that the picture has changed but uh, not much i would say and uh, now the next thing that will be important for us is going to be again the consolidation and i think uh, if in today's session we see the close happening above 108 or uh, nearby the 108 level then i think uh, that will be the indication that uh, this is the time to continue to wait on our earlier uh, position, earlier uh, anticipation that uh, we might see the retracement happening on these levels. And as I said, the immediate target can be kept closer to this uh, swing high, the prior swing high established around 108.45. These uh, technical parameters, the pivot point series and the regression curve are uh, still pretty much bearish. And here, I'm not really talking about the trend reversal just yet, but the retracement possibility is there. And uh, looking at this strong buying momentum, which we observed after the USD JPY got closer to 107.5, we can uh, continue to bet in uh, the USD JPY's possible move on the higher side, while of course being cautious. So if we want any trading opportunity again, I think uh, moving forward also we will have to target the price band of around 107.8 to 107.9 and uh, after this uh, reversal we will of course have to wait it out and uh, allow the USD JPY to consolidate first and in this consolidation phase it should hold well above the first support of this month's pivot point series and uh, as long as it is holding well above these uh, chosen price area, this uh, prior swing high, uh, sorry, swing low area of around 107.8. We can uh, continue to look for buying opportunity and I think uh, in Monday's session, if we do get to see any further uptick and uh, by the time I'm expecting these uh, 50 and 100 SMA to have traveled a bit lower and the convergence is uh, going to be useful while deciding the trading entry point so in monday session i would say not in today's session as and when we will have any fresh break fresh move above these uh, two sms convergence we will have the trading opportunity while keeping the stop loss of around uh, 15 20 pips and uh, as i said on the higher side we can target the move towards uh, these uh, prior swing high the 200 sma area of around 18.5 can be targeted but uh, for that we will have to observe how the price action plays out in today's session and uh, depending on that the opportunities will be there for us so with that the technical outlook from my side on the usd jpy as well as the dojo industrial average is coming to an end and if any of you have any query or any idea to share you can write to me in the feedback section and i would be more than happy to take the discussion forward. Before I sign off, I would also like to remind of the risk associated with trading in the financial instrument and uh, one should be careful while using the information provided. Have a fabulous day and the weekend ahead. See you next time on Monday. Till then, goodbye and uh, do subscribe.